All right, Jake. Uh, great year last year. Four wins, most uh, since 2007, obviously, and your best Liberty League mark since entering the Liberty League with the three wins here, too. So there's got to be a lot of excitement and most, also momentum from that Springfield game going into this year. So just kind of talk about the offseason and how practices have gone. Yeah, offseason, we started out, the first thing we did say, with, especially with Coach Rob, was uh, momentum, and we brought that in with all of our lifts. And, you know, we made sure that everyone was at the offseason lifts. Everyone was working, uh, not just working out, but training. Uh, training for a purpose so um, that really propelled us into spring ball which went very well and we were a lot of guys down with the IQPs and stuff and like Murph was in Australia which was like a big hit at corner for us in spring ball but you know having everyone back on the field now and uh, working you know as hard as we are right now is great and um, this is you know I've been this is my fifth preseason now and this is the hardest preseason I've ever had um, in terms of you know running and um, how hard the coaches are pushing us because the expectations are heightened now. Um, you know, with the four wins, that's not enough for us. You know, that's whatever. It's the best record we've had since 2007, but we're not a four-win team. That's not what we are. We're a 10-0 team, so we need to practice like it and we need to play like it. You talked about, again, this is your toughest. What has made this one so tough? I mean, obviously, there are one or two things that really kind of have. I mean, I, I'm presuming you go back to the offseason where you guys are hitting the weight room extra, extra hard. You guys are obviously maybe studying film, looking at things. But what really has made this camp so far a little, little difficult, but also, again, raising the expectations from last year? Yeah, I think it's the heightened expectations that the coaches have for us. You know, and our defense is it's older, and the new guys coming in understand, and they see us, how hard we're working and they try to model themselves after that. So, you know, like our defensive coordinator, Coach Mulroney, you know, when the ball is snapped, we're, we're sprinting to the ball wherever it is. And then, you know, once we, you know, either make the tackle or, or tag up the guy, we're sprinting back to the huddle. So it's, there's no walking, there's no jogging. It's constant sprinting, constant swarming. Um, that's why it's the hardest so far for me because that the emphasis has never been put on that, um, you know, this much of a swarm mentality before. We've always had the swarm mentality, but I can, I can tell this year this is going to be a great year. You know, for our, I can speak for our defense because that's what I play. Um, it's going to be a great year for our defense because you know of our swarm mentality, our never give up, our motor is always going. To ask you last year, you guys were right behind Hobart and St. Lawrence, and again, Eric's back, you're back, Sean's back too. So that's got to be good. And then I know you guys do have some graduation losses on different parts of the uh, the, the unit, but. You got guys who studied under those guys, right. so this is going to be, you know, this is their time to shine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, our biggest hit was in defensive line. Um, you know, we graduated four or five seniors last year, and we were rotating all of them into the uh, into the D line. So it's a completely new crew this year. But you know, those guys are ready. They are. They're working hard. They all, have, you know, most of them have seen uh, game time at least. And you know, we put our faith in our coaches and our players. So you know, we know that Coach Holmes, our defensive line coach, is coaching them the right way. And Coach Mulrooney with his defensive scheme and Coach Rob with his defensive scheme, coaching them the right way. And uh, we're not worried about the personnel that are going to be out there, but uh, we just need to keep working as hard as we possibly can.